What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So a lot of people are looking for the best price prediction for XRP. And the reason why you're looking for the best price prediction for this position is because it's a position that's like right there on the on the cusp of being something worth a hell of a lot more. Kind of like what you see with the altcoins where you could end up seeing, you know, 20, 30, 40, 100 X potentially. But instead of looking at it at a lower market cap and seeing it grow to more of a reasonable market cap for a lot of people in the, or a lot of positions in the top 10 or top 20 or something like that, you're looking for this to be in the top 10 already in the top five already, which it is and grow to a level to where it competes for the top first or uh, second position. And um, not only competes for this position, but also could literally blow the other two positions out of the water. Right. So there are people on all sides of the spectrum, all sides of the of the aisle trying to um, say whether it's going to be a lower price point, whether we'll see, you know, a three X or whether we'll see a 30 or 300 X. And that's really where we stand. It's like, what is right? What is the the level that we should really um, focus on? And honestly, none of us know because we don't know what will happen with XRP. We don't know the the different things that will take place when it comes to banks, the different things that will take place when it comes to overall use case and the support that comes from just regular investors. So with all that being said, let's go through my realistic price prediction for XRP in 2024 to 2025, just kind of breaking down where I see it fit, right? I'm not going to say that this is 100% absolutely the um, end all be all price prediction, the end all be all level that it's going to be because again, nobody knows. I don't know, you don't know, the next person doesn't know. And if anybody states that they do, they're lying to you. So guys, <clears throat> hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you want to check out my new giveaway that I'm doing on my credit card channel, feel free to check that out. Uh, at 2,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving away a uh, free like Terra Luna Classic or you know whatever cryptocurrency you do prefer. <clears throat> but just uh, you know, go over there and subscribe. I'll put the link up in the cards. So let's talk about this because price predictions are definitely where it's at right now, especially with the market moving the way that it is. <clears throat> we can see that the overall market, right, is up 3.43%. It's at a $1.18 trillion market cap right now. So things are kind of really moving for cryptocurrency at the current moment. We're seeing uh, Bitcoin that has risen above the $31,000 mark, um, up to 31,141. And we're seeing other things that are moving with it. Ethereum is up by 3.4% today. We're also seeing the dominance that is slowly um, rising, but it is going up. It's up to 52% basically right now. <clears throat> and the Bitcoin um, dominance has risen by about 30, uh, 36 or sorry, 0.36%. So anyways, we're seeing the market that's running and you could see fifth on the list, including stable coins, you have XRP that's up 2% up to 53 cents, moving up to 54 cents. And people are wondering like, is it the time to buy? What can we expect as we're looking at the current price moment, right? If we're, if we're seeing it and we're buying it at this point, what can we expect moving forward? Well, understand that this is my realistic expert expectation. It's not really, um, you know, depending on anybody else's information. I do include some sort of data, some sort of analysis that comes from, you know, other um, people, but I just want to do uh, explain why I have certain price predictions. Now, what I'm going to do is take you through the low, the high, and the the middle range, and then give you my expectation on where I believe it will land. And it, understand that I always do try and expect the worst, but I'm probably not going to expect the worst here today within this video. I like to kind of be more towards the the middle of the road. So I'll let you know exactly where all of these do stand. But if we do look at XRP currently, you know, we understand that we have a $28 billion market cap. So this is not a $28 million market cap. This is not a $2.8 million market cap. This is something that if we see a 2x return, you know, we're going up to basically a $60 billion market cap, like it's significant movements once you do double. So when people are saying you have a 1x, 2x, 10x or whatever, you're looking at a significant increase throughout this position. And we understand we don't know what the bull market will hold. We're all pushing for the fact that it could be a $5 trillion market cap um, overall or a $10 trillion market cap overall, meaning XRP could hold a significant piece of that. <clears throat> 
but right now we just honestly don't know. So with all the things that have that have um, been thrown my way, there are price predictions. I have a reaction video on different price predictions, ranging from three dollars all the way up to a level of fifty thousand dollars is what I had in those price predictions. So taking all of that information in, this is where my ranges actually stand. So for the low end of XRP, as we see 2024, 2025 movement, um, depending on what that movement is, I expect it to be about a 6X or an 8X, up to 3 to $4. That would be the low end that I did see and I did calculate, right? You're looking at a, a decently sized market cap, right? At a 50 billion supply, it'll probably be somewhere around 60 at that point. You multiply that by three, it'll be $180 billion um, just seeing that. Now, XRP does have a, a natural like deflationary aspect to it overall, but they are adding coins to it at a higher rate than they're taking away from the max supply, if that makes sense. So we're not really factoring that into it until we reach a fully diluted supply, which may be, you know, honestly, a, a few, a couple of years, right? A few years, a couple of years. Um, uh, but right now, the rate actually looks like it's increasing uh, quite a bit. I just don't know how that will be as it starts to get to higher figures. Um, currently seeing it at 53%, almost 54% of the total supply. So anyways, low end, three to four dollars which would be a 6x to 8x the next the next one which would be middle of the road would be five to ten dollars a 10x to 20x within the position so honestly when you look at a 5x return that is a, a 250 billion dollar market cap now i firmly believe that it can get there you may not agree with it but with the potential use case the fight the amount of impact that xrp has it makes sense even up to a 500 billion dollar market cap some people believe that this is an easy uh, level for this to get to. However, it just really all depends. It really all depends on where um, we're going to see this uh, push up to. But anyways, that's a that's a ten uh, to twenty x return. Now the high end would be a twenty to forty dollar price point, which I've heard a couple of people that have said forty dollars. They predict forty dollars uh, for it to uh, skyrocket there and be at a forty x or eighty x return. Now this. Uh, starts to go from the $1 trillion market cap to a $2 trillion market cap, right? Looking at um, all of these higher levels on the higher end. And honestly, it doesn't sound ridiculous when you start to understand the different pieces of it, which I really don't have a ton of time to go through that stuff. But if you understand even the, the small portion of it, which would be you know cross-border transactions and implement implementation within banks within countries i feel as though the communication um you know cross-border the communication as you see um you know faster payments um you know going through the banking system because they want to speed up that payment process and being that end-all be-all or that kind of go-to just in case all else fails and whatever um you know they're building within that if they're using the ripple payment option so honestly it looks like xrp could be uh worth multiple trillions of dollars in my opinion I'm hovering between the midpoint and the high point. I feel like XRP is is huge and it's something that we may not see for a while. You know, we we see Bitcoin, we see Ethereum and what they are building and the impact that they have at a couple hundred billion and we haven't seen anything that really started to compete with that second level. And I think that XRP is going to be that. And as you see it move up, you're probably going to see exchange coins as well that start to make a move like CRO or BNB uh, for that matter. But I would definitely say that middle of the road, somewhere between the 10 to 20 is where I'm kind of putting my um, card or my uh, my card in there, my lottery ticket in, right? That's where I believe that it will um, hover is between that 10 to, to 20, so somewhere around 15, 17 dollars per XRP is what I'm seeing. Yes, that may be a little bit far fetched to people because you're looking at a 500 to 1 trillion dollar market cap, but I honestly see it and I could see the potential in going a lot further. So we'll see. Um, and just know that this is not limited to where we are right now. It could be so much more, but it really depends on a lot of other situations. So guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also make sure you check out some of the links, um, that are in the cards. I have my new credit card YouTube channel that I'm doing a giveaway for. Feel free to be a part of that over there, but I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.